This next one I'm so excited to talk about. The latest album from At The Drive-In. There you go. You can and right. can you say the title of the album for me, please? Inter Alia. I've never heard that word before, so I'm just going to go with the, uh, you'll tell me what that means in a little bit. Now, uh, at the drive-in, post-hardcore band from El Paso, Texas, who formed in 1994, members include singer Cedric uh, Bixel, guitarist and vocalist Omar Rodriguez, singer-guitarist Jim Ward, bassist Paul Hunujos, and drummer Tony Hajar. And after the band established a large underground following from their excessive touring, they released their debut album, Aerobatic Terminet. Terminent. Tenement. There it is. They use a lot of words I never heard before. That album came out in 1996. And then in the second album, In Casino Out, was released in 1998 and saw the group's popularity and touring schedule begin to grow, including opening for bands like Jimmy Eat World and Rage Against the Machine. But then in two, the year 2000, they dropped that album, Relationship of Command, and it was their most successful release thanks to the single One Arm Scissor, which was constantly getting consistent airplay on the radio and MTV as well. The aggressive hardcore sound mixed with the melodic instrumentation was praised by critics and fans. It was truly a breakthrough for At The Drive-In. So what does a band to do with that mass success and demand? Break up, of course. Yep. That, so they decided we got to break up. So they played their last show in 2001 due to the artistic differences, drug habits, and relentless touring. So with that, we got the spawn of one band formed by Bixler and Rodriguez. It's a prog rock band known as the Mars Volta. They formed while the three remaining members of the other group of, of uh, the band formed the alt rock group Sparta. And then so they're done. But they formed those two groups that some people say the Mars Volta is amazing. I saw them open for Rad Chip Peppers. I didn't get it, but they were they were new at the time, so that was the only thing. Sparta, I actually do like their their progressive hardcore sound. So then they were doing those for a while, and then in 2009, at the drive-in, reformed and played some reunion shows, but broke up again in 2012, mostly due to guitarist Omar Rodriguez wanting to move on from, to newer projects, and he felt like he was spinning his wheels, like talking about songs and or singing songs that he doesn't relate to anymore. And then uh, 2005, no, sorry, 2015, the newly rejuvenated band reunited again. But right before the 2016 tour, Jim Ward decided to leave the group, and he was replaced by Sparta guitarist, uh, what's his name, uh, Keeley Davis, I think that's his name, who is on this new record. Now, Mark's a big fan, I'm sure. So did I forget anything? Anything else you want to add? Favorite albums, favorite <laughs> members, thing like that? Well, I don't know too much about their history. Um, you know, for me, I always felt like they're one of those bands that people f***ing love. Right. And I knew a lot of people that were so super, super into them. Um, I always felt like I was sort of an at-the-drive-in, like, poser. Because I knew, I knew Relationship of, of Command. Um, and that was really the only album I ever owned. Oh, okay. I had, like, this, like, weird split single they did with some other band called Sunshine that I bought you know randomly um but when i was like a freshman in college my roommate um was really a big was a big fan of theirs and so i i definitely heard a lot through him okay. because he would play like like i my knowledge of a few death cab for cutie records and bright eyes records and at the drive-in is just because he would play them all the time <laughs> and i would just be like okay i guess i'll listen to your music now <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess, uh, unfortunately, we're not going to get the, well, this album sound like this and this one, so this is what I'm expecting to go on this yeah. one. I guess what we're both looking for is after a 17-year gap, uh, we just want them to, like, you know, show the same intensity yeah. that they showed on their previous thing. So a lot of people are skeptical when it comes to reun reunion albums and stuff like that. So we're going to be the same way. So I'm going to say for myself, I'm not too familiar with their previous albums as well. I've only heard One Arm Scissor a bunch of times. But from <laughs> what I heard on this latest one, the band still are great at blending the two unique rhythm and lead guitars playing at the same time while frantically using odd timing signatures when it counts. I think they still got it. And uh, Cedric's shouting vocals still display a sense of chaos and urgency, whether he's spitting 
he's spitting uh, rapid lyrics over energetic punk tracks like the the first song called uh, No Wolf Like the Present or preaching his echoed like vocals a la De La uh, Zach De La Rocha on the song uh, Continuum. It's like I really don't know what he's saying, but a lot of the songs on here, like his vocals delivery are so commanding. I feel like I'm being like uh, summons to do something. I don't know what it is, but I just know like he's telling me in his vocals like act now and yeah. it's like oh my god this is <laughs> incredible like um what one lyric I did catch that I love is on uh I I was on the Fugazi influence track um governed by contagion when he's when they're like you know that's the way the guillotine claps yeah. and the claps come in I'm like this is the single and I I found out it actually is but I love that track on that album. That's one of my favorite songs on the record. Uh, how was it going with you when you were listening to it? Yo, first six tracks, all fire. <laughs> I'll give you that. This yes. album, man, it comes out swinging. I really, really was really happy listening to it. Like, <laughs> and it, you know, as someone who I know, so, like their earlier stuff, I know very few and far between. And the their biggest album, I'm a big fan of. You know, yeah. it's in my CD wallet. I keep in my car all the time. So it's something I'm pretty familiar with. And I thought this really picked up. And I was surprised to hear that, like, because I was under the impression that it was all the original members coming back. I was surprised that one of the guitar players wasn't, you know, wasn't with them anymore. Mm -hmm. I think the drummer was different, too, or something. I don't know. I, I read some comments that was saying, like, well, without two of the guys, like, how was it? You know, the review was basically trying to claim that it was like a reunion record. And people were saying it's not a reunion. It's just new music it's just new music from the yeah. yeah i mean so you know my biggest pro you know the thing that i was worried about was they've been doing mars volta for so long you know cedric and like is it going to be influenced by that and i really feel like this is this is all at the drive-in you know it's it's yeah. very it's exactly what i wanted out of this record you know the first i mean the first couple songs are all like you said the first four going up to govern by contagion are just fucking <laughs> pounding it out. It's nonstop. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Also, call Broken Arrow. I think that's one of the six too. It has very dark alternate, um, alternate rock feel to it, while it still like um, keeps the original sound of the band. So I really like the chorus where. Oh yeah, that song too. Was you get good. like the high pitched guitar soloing in one speaker, and you get the grungy rhythm guitar breakdown in the other. Like they did a good job on the production of the record too. I really was rocking out during like the pounding drumming during like the chorus on um Holt's Claw, I think it's called. Like when they're like church ain't over till they put the last snake in the basket. I'm like, I don't know what the <laughs> that means, but yes. <laughs> it's not over till the last snake's in the bag. I really agree on that. Um so did you actually you can't tell Jim's not there. They do such a good job, right? It doesn't, yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. It, it's one of those things where you know, going into an album like this where you're like, it, this is their first album and so fing long it better at least sound like the band that I want to hear. Yeah. I think this does it perfectly. And, you know, there are differences. Sure. I think to me, one of the biggest differences was just the, um, cause you kind of expect musically, it's not going to be the same album that they put out before. So it's going to be new music. You know, it's going to yeah. sound a little different cause they're not the same songs. Okay. Um, but you know, his vocals, I feel like at times sound perfectly just like he did in 20 years ago. And at times I felt like, all right, you can hear like the age in his voice a little bit more. He does sound a little different, um, but after listening to it a few times, I felt like it doesn't even bother me anymore. Yeah, you know, yeah. the, the, just going into it at first, I was like, ah, he sounds a little a little different, you know. Right. But you know, twenty years later, I mean, it's to be expected. So <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Do you have any? Uh, so that's your only um, complaints because I do have one. Now I'm just gonna, I'm just holding it in <laughs> until you until you go first. Oh, you go Hopefully ahead. you'll say. It. Okay, I'd love to hear. You won't. You. Okay, yeah. so. But you guys can hear that I that every track from the for the most part has like a part I like, and despite not like you know, I was not he's not writing new material for almost two decades. The band still like you know sound organic. That's the whole thing. Like Mark, Mark and me are saying, this album doesn't seem forced. But as much as I enjoy the poetic lyrics, I find Cedric's lyrics to be too abstract for me. That's my problem. Um, if I want to hear like ambiguous lyrics, I listen to Nirvana. But then again, I never really understood what one arm scissor means anyway. So it's been like that all the time. So I'm like, I don't never understood a single word they said what what that what the song actually means. 
Um, also, the constant changing in time signatures on a song like made it very challenging to enjoy it or even remember how a song goes. So it's like that is my issue when it comes to like these kind of bands. Like I had an issue with like a band called um, um, Every Time I Die. We redo, redo the album last last year, and I like what I'm hearing, but like it's like I can't remember how a song goes because you changed up the thing. It's not it's not catchy enough for mm-hmm. me. Um, so that's my complaint with that. So I actually, um, I'm actually going to uh, do my rating first on, on this one. So Mark can uh, act, hopefully, um, you know, help things out because I I feel like I what I just said might, you know, make you think I'm crazy. The, so I'm gonna say the good news is this album really makes me want to go listen to the older stuff. So I don't know like. You said that you've heard, you haven't heard the old stuff, so I don't know what you're waiting for. And I'm like, I'm ready to let's just. If I see someone's got like an old stuff where I had some free time, I'm just jumping on the computer, just going to Spotify or wherever I hear my music and listening to it right now. But it has to, I have to be in the mood. That's the only problem. Like I think I'm riding on like the nostalgia and excitement of having the band back. So I'm just wondering if after maybe a few months, I may become disinterested in hearing it. But still, I think it's a great listen. So I'm going to give it an enthusiastic, a very positive, uplifting download this. I think it's you should run out right now and listen to it for free because <laughs> you, you don't know what you're missing. There we go. So, Mark, what do you think of it? Um, yeah, I, I, I was very pleasantly surprised by this album. Like I said, I think I really feel like the first six songs are gr- amazing and then – it gets into the – I would agree with you on some of those points. Like, there's a thing – and I feel like the same thing happens to me on on Relationship of Command okay. is that they're very consistent in their songs, and they have, you know, um, like, they do have – I guess more on, on Relationship of Command, there are a few, like, kind of longer songs, but they're very – like, they build to something. Right. Um, but I feel like this album, there's nothing that's really too slow – but it's um, it's like the same. It's like they're all kind of the same tempo, and so there is a point where I think past track six, when they start getting into these parts where yeah, yeah, it's like, all right, it starts a little slow, and then there's like a good chorusy part, and then the rest of the the song is kind of like I don't really know what happened. Um, so I th- while I think all the songs are actually pretty great and have really good parts, they don't always come together in, as a cohesive song and i felt like maybe there was a two maybe two songs too many mm. um but yet again the album is really short and that's probably yeah. one of the issues like there's no long songs in there that so everything's everything's like three minutes or something like that so you have a really quick album they're in and out like in less yeah. than 40 minutes um i mean that being said i really like their longer stuff too you know yeah. the stuff that they put out in the past but um yeah, I thought this is a f-ing amazing comeback record for a band that hasn't been doing anything for for you. I mean, I guess they have been on and off the past couple of years touring, or whatever. But yeah. it feels like they wait enough time to really become a, a real band again. You know, to sort of you know get together and sound like themselves rather than like you know coming together. Oh man, like just you know out of nowhere we put an album out and it sounds like. Anyway, going for I f-ing really like this album. I bought it, and so should you. Okay. I say buy it. All right, so I'm actually, I'm actually peeking over to your rating. So I'm really, I'm on the, I'm on the fence looking at yours. So I'm, I'm in the ballpark. But I think for you guys out there, if you want to tell us your, your opinion of the record, let us know what you think, and if you liked it or hated it, and tell us your, what your rating would be as well. 